Hi everyone, are you looking for a high definition webcam? Better than most that are included in laptops and whatnot? Do you have some old cell phones? I've got a bunch of iPhones and a Note 4, uh, another iPhone. I even have a couple of iPads that I can use. I can use these through IV Cam. We can use this on Zoom, Skype, uh, OBS, and I'm gonna show you how to install it and how to hook them up right here on Parker's Tech Tools. So I'm gonna, I've am gonna. i already downloaded the app here from e2esoft.com, IVCam, which is, uh, a link is down in the show notes down below. And I've downloaded it, so let me do an install. This is like any other installation. Um, choose language, create a desktop shortcut, and I'm gonna run this at startup. Actually, I'm not gonna run it at startup. All right, install. So there we go. It's installing and it's finished. It's gonna run it now. I'm gonna get a couple of different options here. So here it's now waiting for connection. So what's cool about this is I can take my phone and I can download the mobile app by using this uh, QR code that's showing here. So I'll take my camera Come in on the QR code. I'm going to open it up. Okay, so there it is. It's opening up. So it wants to uh, connect my de devices. Yes. And yeah, sure. And now, okay, look at that. So now we're going to allow it to have access. And I think, yep, there we go. So now it's working. Let's move this over. So that's the camera one input. And this big picture is my screen uh, capture. So you see my whole screen on the phone. This is the front camera facing the monitor and here we have a couple of iPads and here we have a desktop right? oh the screen sorry so the screen goes to sleep just to save some energy so on my, this screen let me move that out of the way and let's um, bring this back to the iCam software there we go so this is what the phone is seeing, is seeing right now so I have a desktop tripod with a monopod with an iPhone holder and I can mount this phone this uh, phone in the holder and point it at me to give me a slightly better picture than my uh, C910 camera. So let's look at some of the settings that we can use for this puppy. Uh, we have our little stack of paper here so we'll go to settings and I'm going to change this to a much higher resolution. Let's go to 720 and the uh, FPS, which is frames per second, will change to 30. And let's change the video quality to high and see what that does. It's going to turn off for a moment and then it should come back. And there we go. So now we have a nice uh, larger picture and the quality is quite good. Let's change this to the best quality settings. This one's going to get even larger. Now, your results will vary depending on your hardware and how fast your video processing is and such. So here on my phone, we can see that it has found my computer. So now I've updated the settings to the highest resolution that I want to use, which is 30 uh, frames per second and the 1080 resolution. And it's looking pretty good. There's not a lot of delay, but I'll, I'll mention that this is working through Wi-Fi. I haven't hooked it up to a wire. So I'm going to hook it up to a wire next so that we can see how that affects my picture quality and streaming speed. Let's just do a test. We'll move my finger back and forth, and we'll see how well it, how quickly it reacts. So now I'm going to hook it up with a, a USB cable. Okay, so now we're going to turn this around, check my settings. I'm going to tell it to stop connected via USB cable. 
And I know that it is because down here in the corner, it says it's connected via USB. So now we'll do this little test and we'll see if there's any um, delays in my finger moving and in my talking. And I have a more, more reliable connection going through the wire. The beauty about using Wi-Fi is that I can take it around and move around with it and it'll still stream back to the computer for recording. So let's unplug the USB cable. And now it's disconnected. Oh, it's back. It's back via, via the Wi-Fi. So we'll do this test again. Here we go. So this is really handy to be able to use just about any uh, old phone or, I, or a tablet, anything with a good camera through the software. And I'm in another video, I'm going to show how to connect multiple cameras so it's not just this one. And obviously my Logitech, my C920, 910 is still running uh, the webcam so I can have a recording using two cameras. And next one, I'll show you how to do three and four cameras. So subscribe and like and click the bell so you find out when I'm going to have the next um, video posted. And we'll see you soon. Thanks for visiting. <laughs>